church must emulate what Christ has put inside of the individual members who come collectively together to be a church body. When we understand our responsibility to the covenant, then we are steadfast in our resolve to have the faith that must be 
inside of each and every one of us to press on toward the mark of the high calling. In the book of Revelation, I want to kind of go in a direction tonight that people will fully understand there is a true church and there's a satanic church. Now, we're going to prove by scripture and by reference material, historical reference material, that we are the true church of God. And uh, the true the uh, daughter who emailed me as to whether or not uh, why I made the statement that I am the last messenger. Yeah. I, I made the statement because I've listened to your many preachers. That's right, there. And I have found that I'm the only one that's holding steadfast to the Word of God. And I say to you, if you are watching, and you will be watching this uh, YouTube broadcast, get your Bible and search the Scripture. Then take another look at me. Amen. I'm not here by accident. I'm here to do God's will. And I will do His will till He calls me home. In Revelation, the second chapter, Start right from a verse nine. I know my work and tribulation and poverty, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. All right, now we're going to be dealing tonight with. to prove by scripture the devil's church is identifiable. Amen. Here uh, the writer is saying in verse 9 I know that works. In other words God knows the individual character of his church and them that are not of his church who say they are of his church. Right. Now in this passage of scripture it's very easy to or rightly divide this word because he says, I know the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews and are not. Now the word Jew here really means God's chosen, Amen. which we apply today will be the New Testament church today. Amen. All right. The blasphemy. Why do people still want to hold the fact that because of grace, you still can continue a life of sin? Grace never meant that you continue in sin. And I've said that often. Amen. And I'll say it again. Hallelujah. We have to understand there has to be a code of ethics established mm -hmm. within the Christian church to prove whether or not the character of that church is Christ-like. And if we don't exemplify the Christ-like character, then we are proving that we're not of Jesus. Amen. So it takes a determined effort on the part of the individual to make a sacrifice to maintain his integrity with God through the Bible. The Bible teaches us and guides us in the way God intends for us to go. And all we have to do is line our life up with the Word of God and we'll have no problem Amen. in serving our Savior. All right, in uh, verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Some of you are going to be persecuted and try or if you know how the devil's coming against me now Amen. but you know devil you got to be a fool yeah. uh -huh. Hallelujah. if you think your persecution is going to call me to stumble now right. Right. You, you, again you need to take another look that yeah. ye may be tried and ye shall have tribulation ten days be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Now, 